This is the Oymiles 5K inverter and this is the modular Felicity battery that can take up to 8 modules of 5 kilowatt hour each for a maximum of 40 kilowatt hour which is a lot. The inverter can be used with two apps and the battery shows the charge level through the green bar and a display with a charge percentage. I just received this pallet sent from Solar Fossil so we can set it up, test the features and capabilities of this system. Now inside the inverter box besides the inverter itself there are several mounting accessories which I will show you more in detail during the video. And since this is a all heavy equipment even though I could do it alone I got a bit of help from Danielle so Danielle a huge thumbs up. Installing the inverter is easy once we decide where to place it we just need to measure, mark, drill, screw the bracket and it's ready to go on the wall. And that's one of the times when the extra pair of hands really helps. I received two boxes from Felicity each with 5 kilowatt hour module and it comes with a stand where we can attach four wheels. Just screw them on and we've got a handy little cot which makes moving things much much easier since these modules are quite heavy. Now each model has side handles so that we can easily carry and place it on the stand. There are also alignment slots to keep them from slipping which we will screw in later. Once on the wheels it's great because I can move without any effort. Then I just place the main module, the one with the screen, on top of the expansion module. I ended up doing a bit of do-it-yourself, which is my favorite part, to set up a little corner where I can easily test inverters without having to make many changes later. It wasn't anything fancy, I just added a few conduits to match the ones that I already had, run some solar cable ducts underneath, removed a few things that were on that side, and giving it a few paint touch-ups but in the end I think that it turned out pretty cool and if you want more details let me know down below on the comment section as I can share a video just talking about some bricolage that I did. Now the inverter has a grid connection, a load or backup connection and a generation connection but for now we will only connect the grid one. Now we will need to connect the phase neutral and ground wires to the adapter included with the inverter. We have seen some inverters where the wires connect directly, some inverters that have adapters similar to this and honestly I personally really like this kind of adapter. I did run a 4mm section up to the secondary electrical panel that I have and you already have seen in some videos. I just had to run it through this new conduit I added and connected to the breaker. Next I installed the smart meter that comes with it. The current clamp went to the main panel which already has so many clamps I think there's no room left for any other and the meter itself went to the secondary panel which is just at the back. The connection is simple. On top I connected the phase and neutral inputs and at the bottom two wires labeled CT that connect to the clamp in the panel and two that connect to the RS485 communication wires that will go into the inverter and at this point we have the grid connection and the communication connection to the inverter which is all that is required for the basic operation. So if I don't need or if I don't want to add any battery this is all I have to do. I just need to plug in now the PV cables that will come from my PV system and that's it. I can start using it and the energy that I will generate and consume will be used and the energy that it's not being used will go exported to the grid. But in this particular case we are going to add batteries. Just to give you an idea the oil miles inverter is on the opposite side of the day inverter and the secondary panel is in the middle. Now in terms of the batteries they are modular and compared to the other Felicity battery that I have these have some great advantages. We can add more in the future and even though they are wider if we stack them up to the same height of the 15 kilowatt hour that I have this modular setup could easily reach about 25 to 30 kilowatt hour. Now with everything powered off I started by removing the acrylic covers which each have four screws. Then I opened the battery connection covers, removed the screws and installed the connection bars on both the positive and negative sides. Here we only have two modules but if there were more we would add two extra bars 
per module. Next, I placed in the four screws connecting the positive output cable on the top left and the negative output cable on the bottom right. Tightening everything up, broke the safety tabs and put the covers back on. Then connected the ground wires between the batteries, which come included in the kit, and I also connected the network cable between the two modules. It's the perfect length, not dangling at all, and I did really enjoy that. Then I passed the network cable on the top. This one connects to the inverter and adjusted the dip switches. In my particular case, one and five on the top battery and two and five on the bottom one. This will depend on the number of modules as it's explained in the manual. Next, I installed a 150 amps fuse on both the positive and negative cables, which are easy to mount and gives an extra protection. Next, I routed the positive, negative, communication and ground cables through that conduit that I made. Now, it sounds easier than it was, and although it's not hard, but I did have to go back and forth a few times and it turned out great. And I'll show you more do-it-yourself details in another video. Just let me know down below in the comment section if that's something that you want to see. Now, once all the wires were in place and organized, on the inverter side, I connected the grid cable to the panel, the communication cable to the smart meter, the network cable from the battery, the ground wire, and finally the battery cables, which have a really cool quick connector system. It took me a few minutes to figure out how it works, but it's super simple. We just need to push to connect, then pull a safety latch to lock it in place, and that's it. Really well designed. The inverter comes with a wireless communicator. We just need to take it out of the box and plug it into the USB port on the inverter. And even though I already have the solar panel cables for now, I will be using it only on AC coupling mode to do some basic tests. And later on, we will connect it to solar panels as well. Now, before powering it up, I added safety screws between the batteries and locked the wheel system so that it stays stable. Then I turned on the battery breakers, pressed the top module button only and since both are linked they will power on simultaneously and you can see the percentage and voltage for each module and on the lower module the four lights that show the battery charge level and when charging the lights will blink. Now it's time to turn on the AC breaker for the inverter. It starts up and after a few seconds we can configure it. Everything is done through the app since this inverter doesn't have any physical buttons and in my opinion this is one of the best things and one of the worst things. In terms of the design, I feel that this inverter looks really awesome. In terms of the build quality, it's all well made with a great design, but it doesn't have any buttons. For those that want to see buttons and want to see things that the inverter is doing, here we will not be able to do so because we will do everything on the app. There are two apps, one used by the installer, which gives access to the initial inverter setup and real-time data so that the installer can see exactly what's happening and make any necessary adjustments. And another one that it's used by us, the end users. Now the app which we use is awesome. It has something that we don't usually see, which it shows real-time production and consumption data. And it's great. It's not exactly second by second. There's about five or 10 second delay, but it's basically real time. And it also displays a lot of statistical information about our production and consumption, which we will take a closer look in one of the next videos. This inverter has six operation modes we can choose from, self-consumption, economic mode, backup, off-grid, peak shaving and time of use. And if we look at the inverter, we can see four LEDs, each indicating 25% of charge. And if they are blinking, it means that it's charging. On the battery, we can also see the exact percentage and how much it's charging. We'll have the chance to explore the apps and the inverter functions in a lot more detail in future videos. But for now, I will share with you some links down below with videos that are made by Solar Fossil's channel. Antonio explains everything in depth from installation to operation with a lot of details that I couldn't do as good as Antonio does. So if you want to check out some technical videos, 
links will be down below. I will leave some links down below as well for the OEMILS inverter and the Felicity modular batteries just in case you want to check that out. Hope that you enjoyed this first video about this kit and if you did don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George and as always I'll see you on the next one.